are going to learn about how to approximate a value using the binomial expansion. Okay, so there are two main methods on how to approximate that. First, we can use a comparison in order to determine the value of our x. And then second one, we also can find a suitable value to consider if there's a mention to you that what value of x is. Look at our first example here. We have to expand 1 minus 2 x to the power of half in ascending powers of x up to the term of x cubed by letting x equals to 1 over 100 in this series. Evaluate set 2 correct to 5 decimal places. So now I want to determine first what is my ax. In this particular case, it is negative 2x. And then our n is half. So I need to expand up until the power of x cube. Okay, so 1 minus 2x to the power of 1 over 2 or half is eventually will become 1 plus n a x. So means that half of negative 2x plus with half times with half minus 1 over with 2 factorials times with negative 2 x the whole things that the power of 2 accordingly followed by half times with half minus 1 times also with half minus 2 over with 3 factorial times with negative 2 x to the power of 3 and then because it is an infinite expansion so just plus dot 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 at the end okay so now we have to simplify this that should be one minus with x and then some more here we would have negative one over two so it's negative one over four but still we have two at bottom at the bottom so it is negative 1 over 8 but then times with 4 over that and then please remember that this is negative so that should be minus of half altogether you may use calculator your calculator anyway if you don't want to use the mind calculation i just want to challenge myself okay so this also negative half this would be negative 3 over 2 so eventually we would have positive of 3 over 8 but times with here is 6 3 factorial is 6 and then here is negative 8 okay x cube so now we can simplify them together we would have negative of half again but x with x to the power of 3 plus dot 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 okay even though in this question doesn't mention to you about the validity you still need to list up what are the values of x that valid that valid for this expansion. So in order to complete our solution for validity of, we have to take our ax. So it's ax which our x our ax here is negative two x less than one. So open this up, we would have x modulus only less than 1 over 2 so eventually we would have modulus no with no more modulus it should be in between negative half and half all right so that is for our expansion and then another task should be by letting x equal to 1 over 100 in this series evaluate set to correct to five decimal places okay so in this kind of question what we need to do is just follow we should just follow the instruction of if we are giving we are given the value of x to be equals to 1 of 100 so just follow through we need to substitute left hand side as well as to the right hand side okay so this one be known as our left hand side meanwhile the whole thing here should be our right hand side okay so now for 1 over 100 to the left here 
I would have 1 minus 2 and by substituting x to be 1 over 100, I just substitute that in here. The power still stay there equals to 1 minus of 1 over 100 minus with half but then 1 over 100 square minus with half of 1 over 100 cube. Okay. At this rate, you can actually just ignore the plus dot 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 because they would continue with a very small values of x or uh, decimals that we can actually ignore. So solve this at our left hand side. We should have, just use your calculator, we would have 49 over 50 but then with third side of it because we have half as the power here. And then on our right hand side, all together, we would have 0 0.98995 as our answer. Okay, so here we don't have set 2 yet. So we need to actually simplify this up until we are having set 2 as a subject. Okay, so set as we knew before, it can be separated out. So it's set of 49 over with set of 50 again is equals to 0 0.98995 okay eventually set 49 can be 7 and set of 50 is actually 5 of set 2 still equals to 0 0.98995 so here we could actually notice that if we cross multiply these two together they would have the expression of set 2 as the subject. So make set 2 as the subject. We would have everything there. Just key in into your calculator. That should be 1.41421. Exactly correct to 5 decimal places. Just like what the questions want. Okay, so that is the techniques where you have to use your binomial expansion, not just merely use the calculator straight away yeah, to approximate the value. To our next example, what happened here is we have to find the first four terms of the expansion 1 plus x to the power of 6 as well as 1 minus x to the power of 6 and then hence find the value of 1.001 to the power of 6 and 0 0.999 to the power of 6. Okay, so the idea is just like what we had previously. But then, please note that this got 6 as the power, both of them. Okay, so, so far we have two formula where for our n is positive integers. We are encouraged to use the a plus b to power of n formula. And then the, let the latter one should be whenever our n is z negative or a rational number, we have to use the 1 plus a as to power of n formula. Okay, yeah, recap on that. So this is where our power is 6. So 6 is included in the first type of formula okay so determine first maybe i want to make it as two-sided here so sorry about that <laughs> okay it's okay so now we have one plus x so i already used the first formula so i would have one plus x to the power of six i need the first four terms so it must include the one itself because it's because it's n zero a to the power of n and b to the power of zero anyway so that should be one already and then plus with the following terms should be six one of one is to the power of five now but x is to the power of 1 and then followed by 6, 2 of 1 to the power of 4, x to the power of 2 and then followed by, because it's uh, still not up until 4 terms, 6, 3, we have 1 to the power of 4, 1 to the power of 3 now, but x to the power of 3 as well. And then dot dot dot. Okay, so simplify this one. We would have 1 plus 6x plus with 
15 x squared and lastly is 20 x cubed plus dot 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 right and then for x for n sorry for n power of positive integer we don't need uh, the validity yeah so followed by the 1 minus x cases so 1 minus x case is being different in a way of we have our x negative now so that should be negative x as i will be and then we would still have 15 but then we still have a different x there it's negative x power of 2 and then followed by 20 as well but here we have negative x to the power of 3 plus dot 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 okay so more simplification needed there 1 minus 6x minus also with sorry it's negative to the power of 2 should be plus 15x squared minus also with 20x cubed plus dot 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 whenever minus 1 to the power of even number that should be positive meanwhile if it's to the power of I mean odd number should be positive uh, negative all right so these are two of our outcomes in the first task but we have a second task where we have to find the value of 1.0001 power of 6 as well as 0.999 to power of 6 okay so for 1.001 to power of 6 we can actually express this one as 1 plus of 0 0.001 right of to power of 6 okay so which this one we have actually approximate this using the binomial expansion so hence x is 0 0.001 so substitute we would have our left hand side okay please write your left hand side as well as right hand side so therefore we would have 1.001 to power of 6 to be equals to show the so techniques of substituting the values guys plus 6 of 0 0.001 and then plus with 15 0 0.001 square and then plus with 20 0 0.001 cube okay and then the values at the back here can just be ignored all right so use your calculator to compute the value so all together that should be 1.00602 and then never mention to you in what decimal places that we have to express our answer so we can actually just opt uh, anything but please at least three significant figures huh? but this one is correct to five decimal places okay meanwhile for 0 0.999 to power of 6 should be 1 minus of 0 0.001 okay we have to relate to our expansion before that so therefore our x again is 0 0.001 but with a different formula because it has the, a bit of different signs over there so 0 0.999 to power of six eventually would have one minus with six in the bracket of 0 0.001 plus with 15 in the bracket 0 0.001 square but then at the end here got minus 20 of 0 0.001 cube so eventually the value should be 0 0.99402 which this one is correct to five decimal places as well all right so last but not least this is your lecture extra questions for this part of 
subtopic which you have to expand 1 plus 3x to power of 1 over 3 in ascending powers of x until and including the term of x cube and hence by substituting x equals to 1 over 125 given to you there you have to make cube root 2 as a subject to find the value of that correct to 5 decimal places okay so once you complete out your solution please submit to your respective google classroom okay guys good luck bye bye